Hey Ralph, how's it going today? Hey Todd. Good to see you. <laughs> you too. Tell me a little bit about what's going on with your game, and, and I know you've you hit a few shots here. Tell me what's going on with your bunker game in particular. Well, it's inconsistent. You know, it's sometimes I'll fly the green, sometimes I'll be short. Uh, I could be left or right too. I mean, uh, you know, I'm, I'm you know, having the club open. I'm, I'm trying to make sure I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm trying to guide the ball to the, to right, the Right, so you're working pretty hard to get yeah, out of the sand. Yeah. Let me kind of introduce you to the Mo Norman Sandy Andy Wedge. Now, a little history about this golf club. You're familiar with Mo Norman, right? Yes. So <laughs> Mo, you know, he always tried to find the simplest way to do everything. And he, he had this club in his bag. And when I walked up to him, I go, well, you know, what's that wedge in your bag? And he said, well, it, it helps me get out of the sand. And one of the things about Mo is that he didn't like to open the blade of the golf club. He wanted to keep the blade square. So this club is designed basically to help you keep the blade square so you don't have to have all the inconsistency that you talked about and have to swing too hard to get it out. So right. do me a favor, and I want you to go ahead sure. and try the club and hit a couple shots here. And then we'll ask you how you, the club feels to you. Mm -hmm. And, and the way to work that club is you don't have to open your body very much. You definitely oh, don't okay. have you don't have to open the blade at all. All right. Mm -hmm. And all you're trying to do is hit about an inch behind the golf ball. Now, all I'm asking you to do is make sure you accelerate your hands a little bit, hit one inch behind it, and the, the club should do the work for you. Okay. Great. So don't be afraid to, to accelerate a little bit mm -hmm. just because you, now that the blade's not open, right? you can just go ahead and accelerate through it and not have to worry about how far it goes. Okay. Great. Now this club, it's got some weight to it, right? Mm -hmm. So on this one, actually take it back a little shorter and then accelerate and see what happens. Okay. Make sure you hit one inch behind it. That's a great one there. That one I like the best because yeah. you accelerated a little bit. Mm -hmm. Tell me how that one felt. Well, I could sure I could feel the weight of the club, or the head of the club going through the ball, and it just felt like I had control of it. And that was that's a big difference. I don't feel I have control when I you know have an open face on just an, a, a regular sand wedge. Well, you know, a lot of times when you use a, a, a normal typical wedge and you have to open the face. People take the club back so far, yes. and then they decelerate because they realize I'm swinging too hard at this. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of this golf club is that you don't really have to open the face because it's already because it already has bounce on it. You can actually accelerate the club and control that distance so much more consistently than you would with this wedge. I actually had a better I, my best shot was going through from not being too far back. Right. Yeah. You shorten your swing a little bit. And yeah. You accelerate it through. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, the key. it made all the difference, and the club did the work. Right. I didn't really have to do much at all. Didn't really have to open my stance or anything. Right. Well, that's what it's designed for. Amazing. That's great. <laughs> Thanks. So, Ralph, one of the things you asked me when we walked out of the bunker was, can you actually use this Sandy Andy off of the turf or the grass? Now, one of the things about the Sandy Andy is that if you look at the way the club sits, it has bounce like we talked about in the bunker. Right. But if you actually lean the club forward slightly, it takes the bounce off the club, so now you can hit it off turf and tight lies. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do here is I'll have you hit a couple shots right out of, right out of the grass here. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing. All you gotta do really is put the ball back in your stance like a normal chip shot, mm -hmm. and then lean the hand slightly forward. Once again, I still want you to, to go ahead and accelerate a little bit through it, so take a short backswing and accelerate. Make sure the face is square. You don't need to open that face okay. up at all and lean the hands a little more forward. There you go. And now let's, let's hit a couple like that and you're gonna feel how that club will go right through the, right through the turf. It's actually really easy. Boy, now, that was easy. Yeah, now, now one, <laughs> I'm gonna back one up just a little bit here. Now one of the things that you notice, just like you did at the bunker, is the weight of it. It helps it quite a bit get through that turf, especially when you're like a little bit of rough and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Hit one more like that, that was a great shot. Make sure that face is square and just push the handle forward a little bit. There you go. I'm going to adjust your hands just a little bit. Go ahead and set up there. Okay. This is how much you want to... Right oh, there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now so I get of, it there now. There you go. There. That much right there. Good. And the key, and I'm going to, I'm going to walk you through this a little bit. Okay. Go ahead and set the club down for a second. All right. So always... Push the hand slightly forward. More. Now, okay. you're going to take the club back about this far, and then hands lead even through there. Okay. The key is getting the hands to lead through the ball after impact, so you feel like a little acceleration in there, okay? Okay. So this this will always hit it kind of thin. Mm-hmm. 
lead with the hands, and this club works perfect out of the turf with a square blade, just like that. That's a good hand position right there. There you go. Good. That's better. Get those hands to lead just a little bit. And really, so watch this. Here's a little mm -hmm. secret. Here's a little secret for you. Okay. Let's put the hands on there for a second. Do you feel like the hands are still in front of the ball there? No, not really. Okay. They don't. So yeah. what about right there? Better. Okay. So what I want you to feel is that the hands stay more in front of the ball and then okay. accelerate. So it doesn't okay. feel like you take it back very far. I see. It went from there. Better. I'd shorten that backswing still a little bit more. A little, okay. So you're doing a good job now. You're getting the hands slightly in front. It takes the bounce off of the club. It's mm -hmm. good. And now just short swing and accelerate through. A little better there. That's a good one. So what you can see is that the club, even though it has bounce, by adjusting the shaft lean, it takes the bounce off and now you can hit it off the turf. Yeah, it came off real clean. And I, when I uh, didn't do that, I felt myself actually bounce right. off the turf. Right. So. And then you don't use the loft of the blade, well, right? Well, it's easy, to, it's easy to correct. I mean, it's either you're coming through cleanly without the bounce. As soon as you feel the bounce, it's, uh, you realize that you're going to hit it then. Right. Yeah. And the thing that's good about off of turf or off even some of the rough is the weight of the club. Mm -hmm. Is the way the club it pushes it right through there. Yeah. Yeah, they were easy, and they and they really went straight, all of them, even the ones I didn't hit perfectly. So, yeah. great. Well, thank you very much for coming out and using the club. Well, thank you, Todd. You I appreciate it. You bet. I played golf for about 15 to 16 years. I started in my late 40s. I was able to get a uh, play pretty consistently. Then I had some injuries. I haven't been able to play for a while. I'm just getting back into the game, and so I've been looking for uh, consistency. So just getting back into the game, my bunker play and my short game has been inconsistent. And uh, I'm looking for that, you know, uh, get, getting back to where I was, where I was able to uh, count on my short game being a strong part of, of my golf. So my lesson with Todd was, was eye-opening for me. It, was, uh, it showed me how inconsistent I was with my own wedge, um, which used to be quite reliable. When I first started hitting the Sandy Andy, I couldn't believe how easy it was. I could feel the easy weight of the club. It went through the sand much easier than my sand wedge, which could, you know, could recently, it's been an adventure. And this was, uh, the Sandy Andy was made it just a, a real simple feeling going right through it. Just picked through the sand without effort and pretty much every one of the balls went straight. So that, that was a big improvement for me and uh, I'd never seen the club before. So one of the things that I asked Todd was, I, I, I wondered if I could use this so easily out of the sand, could I then just use it just as easily around the green? And uh, it was, it was just as easy going through the heavier grass around the green and it got it up over the trap and that's something that you know most golfers dread and I used to, especially when I've been out of the game for a while. So for, for me, the Sandy Andy was very easy to hit. So I, I would be really comfortable approaching the green from almost anywhere if I wanted to get a little loft on, on, on the ball, hitting it like a pitching wedge or a sand wedge from probably even uh, 30, 40 uh, yards away. So working with Ralph out of the bunker, a couple things that we saw, you know, when he had his conventional wedge, and this is pretty typical of a conventional wedge as people try to open the blade up to create bounce to get it out of the sand and they really have to swing too hard to get out of the sand, so they really get inconsistent as far as how far the ball goes. They don't make good contact. The beauty of the Mo Norman Sandy Andy wedge is you can actually square the blade and it has bounce on it already, and you hit a much better shot because this club allows you to, to accelerate through it as opposed to decelerate because you took it back too far. So it really did a lot of great things for him as far as hitting it out of the sand. We moved him back to the grass because he asked me, hey, can you hit it out of the turf too? And the weight of the club really helps the ball get out of the turf. So we found that he could he actually swing easier out of the turf and the ball would accelerate and get on the green. So it really did a lot of good for him to get it, get it out of the bunker and out of the grass.